Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Python Bikes and this is a continuation of the last tutorial when we put a menu bar in with menus. What I'll be showing you is how to run the code on the frame. What I've done is I've saved the WX form builder file in this folder called frame code. Now there are another, no other folders or directories, it's just straight code there. And I'll just copy that there and change the location because I've changed it from the last tutorial. Okay, so it goes into there. I'll save that. Okay, so here we go. We have no code here. Now you notice here we have MNA and I use some Python code to clean up the code. Now some people have said, do you really need to clean it up? So you can get by by not cleaning the code. So what I would do is I go BK. Okay, it's just BK meaning like backup or you could call it anything you want. Here we have the folder. This is the folder that I'm designing this frame in, okay? It's just the WX form builder file. And I'll save. You notice here the asterisk. That there, it means it hasn't been saved. So save that, and the asterisk is gone. Okay, now I'll press generate code, the cog. Press that. And now I have code called BK. So now I just click that so I can take the BK out and this will be the main application file uh, that will contain all the code uh, that we created designing this frame, this GUI with the menus on it. Okay, so I generated that. Now, as you're working on this file, I'll just open up idle okay and I'll open that to be form builder tutorials frame code this code there okay now all that we've done in this design is we put the menu bar in with all the menus. Later on you add uh, another two box sizes. If you look at my tutorial on sizes you, you understand why there are two box sizes. Someone asked that question so that will explain it to you. Uh, and then you add widgets. Okay so we have this here when we generate this we'll just save because something has changed notice the the star there next to the file name save that the star's gone the asterisks I click generate I go here so I've got the main file that I have opened through idle okay and there's another file there called BK so any changes that you make to this frame okay any changes any widgets that you add to it you can just keep clicking generate you click generate button here and then it will just give you a backup you don't add any code on here you work on your MA script you just edit your code on here and then what you can do is if there are any changes you just open you're in the folder where the MNABK is open that up okay there's your backup any changes that you make to widgets okay you can copy there and then paste it into the MNA and that way you're not interfering with the code that will run the frame that you're working on all right so that is about updating any changes that you make on your code. Now that we've generated the code for our M and A or main frame, 
we have import WX so yes we're using WX code which is all of this we're not using an XRC file so we don't need to import XRC so we put two hash symbols where we comment out this import we don't need that so control s to save go down the bottom we're going to add the code that will run the frame the way we do that is right down the bottom we go class main app round brackets and we go wx app so the main app is a wx python app and then so you go def on and it self we go main frame equals and we go up the top here here's the name of our frame so we copy that paste it in there okay so the main uh, the frame because it doesn't have a parent it is the parent main frame dot show true go return true and we go back to the column zero and we go if underscore underscore name underscore underscore double equals double underscore main double underscore quote colon and we go app equals main app okay there's the main app and now we go app main loop so this loop if we didn't include the loop uh, when we run MNA script the GUI will flash and disappear so we need this main loop so that we can see the frame now to run it we press the F5 key on the keyboard and there it is okay if you have any comments or questions in regards to this video please leave them below the video on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, if you like the video please click the like button and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and then that way you get updates when I put new videos on that's it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it till the next tutorial goodbye